Ice Helldivers 2 so fun. I'll try to sum up what I think by going over a bit of the story of Helldivers 2, my first impression of this game, and the Helldivers gameplay so far. Honestly, this game was $40 and they're still added to it. It's amazing. A little bit of the story on this is you're here to save Super Earth no matter what the cost. We're here to fight bugs and automatons and it's just going to be whatever it takes to get that done. In the United States military, they're like, oh, you're going to give your life for this country. Super Earth takes it a little bit further and they're like, not only are you going to give your life, but you'll probably be given several hundreds of other lives as well in defense of the liberty that we're trying to have here. From a quick read of the wiki, you could find some similarities between Super Earth and the US. For one, and I think this is the big biggest thing ever. We're here for oil. Big oil. Big oil. Some might say the biggest oil. The oil I'm talking about is the fuel known in the Helldivers universe as E710, which is found in the decomposing terminant bodies. Sound kind of familiar? That's right. We're talking dinos, people. We're talking decomposing bodies, turning that boy straight into fuel. Call the young kid dino enthusiasts because dinos are back on the table. Well, at least what we're using him for now. If you want to read up on it, I'll leave a link in the description. All right, so my first impression of this game was, I was like, no bugs, only robots. All the videos I saw and all the trailers I saw of this game so far was you just going around and you're killing all these bugs. And I was like, sweet, it's like Deep Rock Galactic. With the main downside is you're not running around being a dwarf for one, and then also drinking beer right before you go mining. And then I get in there and there's robots and they're just hanging out making all those weird noises that they do while they're running around with their awful sword arms just coming out of nowhere, dropping off the ships like bees. I had no references for this game, and when you just drop in and you don't know anything, I was like, this is kind of scary. One of the first missions, or actually I think it was the first mission I played on it, was a nighttime mission for the automatons. So I had no idea what was happening. I just got a quick rundown from the tutorial that pretty much said that you were going to die, and you were going to die a lot, and then your friends were going to die, and they were going to die a lot. And you were essentially just going to be shaking hands with death for the most part. So I'm on this night mission, and they just drop me in, and you're just kind of hoping that you make it out, right? That's that's the main thing, right? When I first encountered them, ran right up to an outpost, I'm like, yeah, we're going to kill these guys and be good to go. Not super familiar with how things are, but they'll just run dropships to you forever. So my first encounter with them was a bit crazy, because I was trying to play like most other games you've ever played, and you just kill all the bad guys, and then you do whatever you need to do, you know? Sort of completing the mission while under fire is not really something that I personally care for. I mean, I'll do it, but if there's a way to just kill all the people, then let's do that instead. It was really bad on, like, Assassin's Creed. So I'm over there trying to clear out everybody who's coming to this outpost, and they just keep coming, and just keep coming, and just keep coming. And I'm almost out of bullets, and there's no end in sight, so... Yeah, no, these guys were crazy scary. Just kept on coming back like some sort of bad zombie. They're coming out of the woodwork, showing up from all sides. I was like, this is kind of a challenging game, all right? What, you're supposed to get a mission done? Dude, I'm out here fighting for my life. You got me doing the disco with my fingers over on the left to try and pull in some stratagems. And my newfound neighbors are shooting at me with everything I've got. And my newfound neighbors who aren't here to give you a cup of sugar. Instead, the language gap has them being like, a pound of lead seems about right. So getting missions done in the first part, you're like, well, I'm glad they have rank one missions. The game was also really fun just because you could go in there solo, but then you, you know, can call in your buddies. You can have like a whole squad come in. And this is something that I've always found great with games. With this one simple trick, you can double the number of enemies that you're fighting because now you have your friends to deal with as well, who have killed me almost as much as them. The guns were sweet, man. I tell you, when you're first starting out and you've got essentially nothing, you're just looking around and you're seeing everyone else's really cool guns, and you're just like, oh, I can't wait to, I can't wait to get them. I'm just drooling over here. I remember using the auto cannon for the first time after my squad mate just got jumped, and then I picked it up. He wasn't too happy about it. The feeling of dishing out some of that sweet liberty to those poor robots was great. I was just happy to be doing a little bit more than tickling them, which is what you feel like with most of the beginner guns. I remember it hitting harder than like a Mack truck. I still love that weapon and I pretty much use it all the time now. Next we're going to go on to the gameplay. So one of the sweet things I find is the third person. Unlike first person shooters, which you'd find most of the games that are similar to this would be, they're actually third person 
And this is great because you can see your character. I remember playing Far Cry 5 and thought it's just pointless to change your outfit because you'll almost never see it. In Helldivers 2, you're good because you're going to be able to see it. It's also great because you can see what's going on around you. Gives you a little bit more lay of the land. And then also you can jump away from those awful guys that are just about to hurt you. I do think it would be pretty scary if they added like a little death scene where you go into first person view and then they had like, I don't know, if like one of the berserkers got you, they'd have like a chainsaw popping out of your chest, kind of like Doom. But you know, you're the guy who's getting jumped. Another great part about this gameplay is it scales. The difficulty levels in Helldivers is a huge thing because if you turn up the heat, you get more stuff to go and upgrade your stuff. A lot more XP, you'll get a lot more medals. You'll have the opportunity to get more rare and extra rare samples out of it when you're playing through a mission and it's pretty simple they just go from level one to hell dive difficulty hey that's the name of the game and hell dive difficulty is pretty much just craziness and you're just running around screaming and shooting for your life when i started playing with my friends for the first time they were a bit higher level than me and so you just start seeing that xp roll in because you're doing a lot harder missions and whenever you finish them it's like oh that was like two or three levels out of it very nice instead of doing the level one missions where you are gonna have to do quite a few just to get one level out of it but they're going to be really easy and really good for beginners i love that there's the quest and then there's the side missions because the big quest feels like they're you know they actually kind of matter and they're also difficult enough and they're going to be long enough that it's it's going to take a bit to do them so the main the main quests are big enough to matter and they're rewarding when you finally get it done doing the main mission is so important in helldivers 2 if you don't do the main mission you'll miss out on getting any medals that you pick up and you'll get almost no xp i've done it you will get to keep the samples that you pick up along the way so that's kind of a bonus so you can somewhat salvage a mission while you're going through and you won't be wasting around for the side missions you pretty much go around picking up random things discovering little points of interest around the map and it's just nice to have it break up those really long missions some of the long the longer games are about 40 minutes long and you'll always just have something quick and nearby to run and go do it just breaks up the gameplay and it's, it's nice Another thing about the side missions is if you're on a huge map it could be a pretty good idea to have like just one of your guys run around and go do some of the side missions while you while the main group focuses on the main mission this is also super good for escort missions as well you can have the main group stay away from the escorting area and then you can have the singular guy just go solo and do the main bit so this is like just a quick rundown and my first experiences with this game why this game is so fun is it just sort of ticks all the boxes of the kind of game that we all love to play it has a story which is so important but it backs it up with you know co-op type gameplay with your buddies and you get to kill bugs what more could you want anyways thanks for watching do you need some tips for helldivers 2 check out this video